a friend, an icon, and a comedy legend nearing her centennial. When celebrities pass, we often turn to their social media for insight into what was happening in their final hours. Here's what these stars had to say. Paul Walker began working on Furious 7, the seventh film in the Fast and Furious franchise, in late 2013. The actor filmed his scenes for about a month before tragically dying in a car accident. He was 40 years old. Walker posted a final image on his Instagram the day before he died. The black and white image featured Walker, Tyrese Gibson, and Vin Diesel as their characters in the Fast and Furious franchise. Along with the photo, Walker wrote, The boys are back, will you be ready? When Furious 7 was released in April 2015, the film was dedicated to Walker's memory. Anton Yelchin rose to prominence in 2009, when he appeared as Pavel Chekhov in the rebooted Star Trek. He reprised the role in a number of Star Trek sequels, and also appeared in several other high-profile films. My goal is always to kind of try and do you know, a good job and try and improve. Before his death, Yelchin also spent much of his time developing his photography skills. Yelchin shared his passion for photography with the late director Stanley Kubrick, whose work had a profound impact on the young actor. On June 19, 2016, Yelchin died tragically after his Jeep rolled down his driveway and pinned him against his security gate. That same day, Yelchin posted his final Instagram image, a selfie of him squinting in the sunlight as he stood on a beach. The image mirrored many of the photographs on his Instagram page, most of which were portraits shot in a similar style. Toward the end of his life, Robin Williams appeared in numerous films and television shows. He also starred in the TV series The Crazy Ones. But while many laughed at his unique brand of comedy, few knew of Williams' diagnosis of Parkinson's disease. On August 11th, 2014, Williams died by suicide. He was 63. His autopsy revealed Lewy body dementia. It's a disease that's responsible for a variety of symptoms, including intense paranoia. Williams was relatively active on social media in the years leading up to his death, and often posted to Instagram. In his final Instagram post, Williams wished his daughter, Zelda Ray Williams, a happy 25th birthday. He wrote in the caption, Happy birthday to Miss Zelda Ray Williams. Quarter of a century old today, but always my baby girl. Happy birthday, Zelda Williams. Love you. Joan Rivers had a career in comedy that spanned decades. Later in life, Rivers appeared on a number of reality shows and even co-hosted E's Fashion Police. Sadly, Rivers died on September 4th, 2014, following complications from a medical procedure. Throughout her life, Rivers engaged with her fans, especially on social media. She used Instagram to tout her projects and promote upcoming events. Her final post came on August 27, 2014, and featured a picture of Rivers, Leanne Rimes, and Eddie Cibrian in bed together. Rimes and Cibrian were recent guests on In Bed with Joan, the comic actor's internet talk show. Her final post read, There are two guests in bed with Joan this week, Leanne Rimes and Eddie Cibrian. Watch on my website, joanrivers.com. It was Rivers' final post, but her Instagram account remains active. These days, her account posts pictures of Rivers alongside some of her funniest jokes. Whether you're a comic book fan or not, Odds are that you knew the name Stan Lee. Lee was one of a select few who established Marvel Comics as the dominating force it is today. In the late 80s, he also began acting, appearing in numerous films and TV shows. While his appearances amounted to little more than cameos, Lee's multiple credits have inadvertently made him the highest grossing actor of all time. The box office site The Numbers indicates that the movies Lee appeared in have brought in more than $32.6 billion across 50 films. You know, I guess one person can make a difference. Enough said. Lee died of a heart attack on November 12, 2018 at the age of 95. He spent much of his later years engaging with fans at conventions and through social media. His final Instagram post came one day before his death on Veterans Day. It included a photograph of the comic creator during World War II. The caption read, Thank you to all of America's veterans for your service. Fun fact, Stan's official U.S. Army title during World War II was Playwright. Caroline Flack started out as an actor, appearing on the British series Bo Selecta in the early 2000s. Flack continued working in comedy before transitioning into a TV host. Toward the end of her career, Flack hosted the TV show Love Island After Sun. On February 15, 2020, Flack died by suicide. She was 40 years old. Her passing also affected the production of Love Island, which aired a tribute to Flack, even though she left the series in 2019. Flack was the third suicide tied to the program, leading to calls for its cancellation. Like any prolific performer, Flack used social media to both promote her work and open a window into her personal life. She posted a lot on Instagram, sharing pictures of herself with family and friends. Her final Instagram post on February 13th consisted of a photo collage of Flack holding her dog. Chadwick Boseman had an extremely successful acting career, appearing in numerous blockbuster films. He started acting on stage in the mid-2000s, but many fans first met him as Jackie Robinson in 42. 
He also wowed audiences as T'Challa in 2018's Black Panther. Boseman continued acting despite being diagnosed with colon cancer, though he kept his condition private. He died of the disease on August 28, 2020, at the age of 43. Boseman was active on social media throughout most of his professional life and enjoyed engaging with fans online and in person. His Instagram page features a number of posts about his professional life. It also showcases the things he cared about the most, like politics. Boseman's last Instagram post came on August 11, 2020. In the post, he celebrated the then-senator from California, Kamala Harris. Betty White was one of those actors who touched just about everyone's lives. She began working in the entertainment industry shortly before World War II. After the war, White found work in all kinds of programs. She continued acting right up until the end, with a career that spanned nine decades, from the 1940s to the 2020s. Despite her long list of acting credits, including appearances in everything from The Mary Tyler Moore Show to Lake Placid, most people knew White as Rose in The Golden Girls. Rose, you remember our signal when I want you to leave? You wouldn't hit me in front of company. But no matter where you knew her from, odds are you enjoyed seeing White on screen. People Magazine celebrated White's longevity as she approached her 100th birthday, which would have been on January 17, 2022. Leading up to that momentous occasion, the magazine put together a cover story honoring White. White promoted the cover in her final Instagram post on December 28, 2021, writing in the caption, My 100th birthday. I cannot believe it is coming up. And People Magazine is celebrating with me. The new issue of People is available on newsstands nationwide tomorrow. White had suffered a stroke a few days earlier and subsequently died in her sleep on December 31st, 2021, just 17 days shy of her 100th birthday. Bob Saget was one of those comic actors who gave his fans a wide range of acting styles. If you knew him from Full House, he was a wholesome family man. But if you knew Saget from his foul-mouthed stand-up routine, he was quite the opposite. Saget worked constantly throughout his career. In addition to Full House and his stand-up, he also hosted America's Funniest Home Videos and appeared in movies like Half-Baked. On January 9, 2022, Saget was found dead in his hotel room in Williamsburg, Florida. The cause of death was trauma to the head. This was likely the result of a fall, though Saget may not have known the severity of his condition. He died in his sleep at the age of 65. Saget spent plenty of time posting on Instagram and often promoted his podcast, Bob Saget's Here For You. His final Instagram post came on January 9, 2022. It was a selfie of Saget smiling on stage. Anne H had a long acting career that included appearances in movies, TV shows, and plays. She was also known for her romantic relationship with Ellen DeGeneres, which lasted from 1997 to 2000. Hage published a 2001 memoir, Call Me Crazy, and continued working in and out of Hollywood over the ensuing decades. Then, on August 5, 2022, the actor crashed her car into a house, resulting in a huge fire. Hage was ultimately trapped inside the burning vehicle for 45 minutes. Firefighters eventually came to her rescue and rushed the actor to a nearby hospital. After being comatose for a week, Hage was taken off life support. She died on August 11th at the age of 53. H was relatively active on social media and updated her Instagram account with pictures from her life and work. Her final Instagram post came on July 14th, 2022. It featured a selfie of H alongside fellow actors Joy Lawrence, Andrew Lawrence, and Samantha Cope. Kirstie Alley had a long and successful career working in Hollywood. She appeared on the popular sitcom Cheers, had a starring role in the Look Who's Talking trilogy, and nabbed parts in various other projects. Ali also won two Emmys for her work on Cheers and the made-for-TV movie David's Mother. Later in her career, Ali appeared on a number of reality TV shows, including Dancing with the Stars. She also competed on season seven of The Masked Singer. The costume made me sing like a cat in heat. Earlier in 2022, however, Ali received the diagnosis of colon cancer. As a result, she went through chemotherapy treatments through much of the year. Sadly, Ali died from the disease at her home in Florida on December 5th, 2022. She was 71. Like many celebrities, Ali spent time posting news and information about her life and work on social media. Her Instagram is filled with pictures and videos of her with former co-stars and more. Ali's final Instagram post went live on September 21st, 2022. In it, she promoted the forthcoming season premiere of The Masked Singer, writing in the caption, Have you heard the news? The Masked Singer is back. Best of luck to all the new masks. Check out the season premiere tonight. Leslie Jordan started working in the entertainment industry in the 1980s but he didn't become a household name until the early 2000s. Jordan's work on Will & Grace, American Horror Story, and other series helped make him a star. He also branched out into theater and gospel music. Jordan released the album Company's Coming in 2021 and built up a large following, thanks in large part to his engagement with his fans. Tragically, on October 24th, 2022, Jordan drove his car into the side of a building in Hollywood and was pronounced dead at the scene. He was 67. 
An autopsy revealed his cause of death to be sudden cardiac dysfunction. Before his death, Jordan was working on his gospel music. But when the COVID-19 pandemic hit, he was forced to switch things up in his professional and personal life. Well, <laughs> what are y'all doing? Screwing. So, like many people during the pandemic, Jordan turned to Instagram. He posted frequently on the site, sharing videos and more. His final post on Instagram featured Jordan singing a new song with Danny Myrick. The actor wrote in the post, Sunday morning him singing with Danny Myrick. Danny helped me with a new original song that should be coming out real soon. Love, Light, Leslie. Lance Reddick's imposing force dominated the small screen for decades. But he didn't gain much national attention until his breakout role as Cedric Daniels on The Wire. From there, Reddick took leading roles on the TV shows Fringe and Bosch. However, one of his most recognizable characters was as Sharon in the John Wick franchise. Of course, Reddick was prolific, and these are only a few of his many prominent acting roles. On March 17, 2023, Reddick died from heart disease at the age of 60. His death was sudden and shocking to his fans, family, and friends. Reddick posted to Instagram fairly often and used the platform to share all kinds of personal and professional moments from his life. His final Instagram post, which came on March 16, 2023, celebrated his dogs. Reddick wrote in the caption, On screen and off, it's no surprise I love spoiling my dogs. Hard Rock makes it easy, with a full line of John Wick movie dog swag available at Hard Rock Hotel's Unleashed locations. While Tina Turner isn't as well known for her acting as she is for her singing, she did appear in movies from time to time. Turner began acting in 1975, playing the Acid Queen in Tommy. However, she's probably best known for her turn as Auntie Entity in Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Turner also dealt with numerous illnesses toward the end of her life. She even received a kidney transplant in 2017. I've gone through some very serious sicknesses. The music icon died on May 24, 2023, at her home in Switzerland. She was 83. While Turner dealt with numerous long-term illnesses, her family revealed that she died of natural causes. Although she didn't post much, Turner did have an Instagram account. Her final Instagram post was on April 20th, 2023, and consisted of a video promoting Tina, the Tina Turner musical. Turner wrote in the caption, Sending so much love to Tina the musical. Proud of our wonderful show, and thrilled that we're celebrating five years in the West End. Long may it continue. As Chandler being on Friends, Matthew Perry became an overnight sensation. He played Chandler for all 10 seasons of the show. After Friends, Perry continued working but slowed down over time. The actor's various addictions had him in and out of rehab for many years, which affected his work. A lot of people have alcoholism and don't know that they do, and they're wondering why they drink so much. I was that way. Sadly, Perry drowned in his hot tub on October 28, 2023. He was 54. His autopsy revealed that he died from the acute effects of ketamine, coupled with drowning, coronary artery disease, and the effects of the opioid drug treatment buprenorphine. Perry didn't post much to his Instagram account, but he did share some pictures and videos of his work through the years. He also promoted his book, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing. His final post on Instagram was on October 23, 2023, and it included a picture of him relaxing in the hot tub with the caption, Oh, so warm water swirling around makes you feel good? I'm Matman. Angus Cloud became an actor after a casting director scouted him in Manhattan. He joined the cast of Euphoria as Fesco and filmed 16 episodes. Cloud soon found work elsewhere, appearing in several films, most of which were released posthumously. On July 31, 2023, Cloud was found dead in his family's home in Oakland. His death was ruled an accidental drug overdose caused by a mixture of cocaine, fentanyl, methamphetamine, and additional drugs. Cloud had spent the weekend at an album launch party for MacArthur Mays, which was the last time he'd be seen in public. The actor's death shocked his fans, as it was sudden and unexpected. Angus Cloud was 25. Cloud didn't post to Instagram often, but when he did, it was usually a promotional ad for a product or service he supported. His final Instagram post on July 18, 2023, was a photo promoting Grant's grills. Cloud wrote in the caption, the Cloud Fella rocking 18K white gold grills. Andre Brower spent much of his career working on television. He had prominent roles in Homicide, Life on the Street, and Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Brower also appeared in numerous films, including Glory and Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. On top of all that, Brower worked in the theater and lent his voice to various animated characters. In mid-2023, the actor received a lung cancer diagnosis. He subsequently underwent treatment for the illness. However, his publicist revealed that he died from the disease on December 11, 2023. Brower was 61. Brower maintained an Instagram page, though he didn't post to it very often. When he did, the actor often shared references to his character from Brooklyn Nine-Nine, or cast photos from other projects. His final Instagram post on July 26, 2023, featured a promotional poster for a play called Malvolio. 
The actor served as a trustee on the board of directors for the Harlem Theater that produced the play. Brower wrote in the caption, Final week to experience Malvolio by the extraordinary company, the Classical Theater of Harlem. If you or someone you know is struggling or in crisis, help is available. Call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org.